one of the supporters sent me an email. This came across my desk. And as you not know, guys, know it, some of this shit makes me mad. Y'all be making my skin crawl sometimes. But I wanted to help them because this is, is I think this was a good there's a good lesson to be learned here. I wanted to help him and I want to help you guys who've been through something like this or the guys who don't know better and may go through shit like this. So let's get it. My man says, I have met one girl who was about to divorce from her husband. She is a friend of my friend's girlfriend. She told her about me and she said, I like him so much. He's definitely my type. I find everything in him what I was looking for all along and stuff like that. Her husband did not support her in anything. He was cheating on her with grannies and she was pissed off at him. She said that she is uh, grossed out to sleep in the same bed with him. And finally, she got away from him. He took most of the stuff like car, house, and she was like, I don't need anything from him. I just want to get away from him. Finally, we got together. Everything was cool for a month or two. And then we started seeing each other every Saturday or Sunday. She was kind of too tired after work. I don't. He put that in parentheses. I don't know why. I basically supported her and everything, and she was telling me that she never felt this uh, like this in her life. <laughs> I bet. And she was telling my friend that she feels like she's in a fairy tale. Two days ago, I was with a friend, and she told me for Christmas, there's one friend we have. He is poor, and I want to make him feel the Christmas spirit. So she told him on Chris uh, for Christmas that they have a friend, um, and the guy is poor, and she want to make him feel the Christmas spirit. And I didn't hear anything from her for four hours. I was really skeptical about that because it was my first time hearing of that guy. As I'm telling my friend this, I, I mean, he said, I was telling my friend this and he was like, let's go to her house and check. So while driving to her place, I was chatting with her and she was like, sorry, I can't talk now. The owners of the house who she's renting from came with kids and started drinking. I'm so pissed off. I can't tell them to go. We arrived at her place and checked through the window, and she was alone. I called her and asked her, what are you doing? She was like speaking on the phone with my mom, and she sent me a screenshot. I was like, why are you lying to me? What's the reason? And she started being offensive. Are you checking on me? I can't believe you. You disappoint me, and so on. Then I was like, okay, if all the stuff I did for you was not enough compared to what your husband did for you the last years, which is incomparable, then okay, don't be with me. So the next day she decided not to see each other. She was like, please send all of my stuff from your place to your friend's girlfriend and she will give it to me. She basically didn't even want to chat to speak to me on the phone or nothing. She acted so bitchy. Then I checked her Instagram and she still had photos of her husband. But the funny story is that she told her husband that I'm better than him. I'm making her happy even in bed. I'm better than him and now Every, everything stopped after just one day. We were making plans to start living together, to buy a car, house and stuff, a, a car and a house and stuff. I got to know her parents and I started helping them as well. Where did I go wrong? Why did I deserve not even an explanation? How could everything end, uh, end up in one day? How could everything end in one day? Please help me, mate. I just got so pissed off so hard that I blocked her from all social media networks and told her, thank you for everything. I have uh, have a great, I hope you have a great life. And I blocked her everywhere. I'm so confused and I have no idea what to do. I really love her. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate your help. <laughs> Listen, what I want you guys to stop doing, first of all, this is number one. Stop writing me trying to rationalize your simping by trying to preface all of the bad shit she told you about her man or her husband. A lot of y'all do that. Y'all are write me saying, oh, well, her husband beat her. Her husband cheated on her. Her husband did all of this shit. Her, her husband, you know, you know, flipped the house upside down and just treated her, her horribly because y'all know you think that that's going to, you know, make me sympathize with your simping. Y'all trying to use that to justify simping. I already know when dudes start writing shit like that, here come a whole bunch of simping. That's finna I'm finna read a whole bunch of simping. Stop doing this shit. Stop listening to, to the bullshit they tell you about the last dude because it's more than likely exaggerated. Everybody, everybody's the villain. When, when a woman breaks up, 
regardless of even if she cheated on him, she's not going to tell you that she's going to paint him as the fucking villain. You understand what I'm saying? So stop stop doing it because I already know you you finna start simping. It's irrelevant what he did. Oh, uh, uh, he, he, he beat on her and this and this. And so I just wanted to show her better. I told y'all about that type of shit. Stop it, right? Now that's number one. Secondly, right? I've never felt this way before. I'm in a fairy tale. This is so new. You're the first guy I ever felt like this. I've never done it. Stop believing that shit. Stop falling for it. It's game. That's a woman's game, right? Women play the game too. I don't know why you guys don't get that. Women tell you what you want to hear too to open up, open you up and get what they want out of you too. It's game. Don't believe what she say. Pay attention to what she does. You should be in a space to where a woman's words don't affect the way you feel. A woman's words don't affect the way I feel. What affects the way I feel is what she does. Her actions always speak louder than words. You have to understand that women play off of the male desire to be the best and be first. Women know and men are very ambitious, right? We want to be the best and we want to be the first. And if they can tell you that you were the first to make them feel like this, they know that it opens you up. It makes you feel like a man as you get a high from it, right? And you associate these good feelings with them. Stop falling for that shit. Don't believe nothing they say. You understand? That's game, period. Again, never let yourself be swayed by another's word, uh, a, a woman's words, right? Now, <laughs> I want to help him feel the Christmas spirit, right? If you're listening to me, that means she wanted to be a ho, ho, ho with him, period. And <laughs> why she even told you that is beyond me. Um, but, you know, a lot of the times women will, before a woman get ready to do something slick, they'll halfway tell on themselves. They'll they'll tell you something they'll tell you something to lower your guard like they'll tell you let's say that a, your girl is gonna go cheat right she gonna go cheat with the guy she met at the bar she'll throw herself under the bus and say I'm going out to work with Sarah and a couple guys from the job right so she'll make herself be in trouble for that while she over here doing this. Women do stuff like that. You see what I'm saying? So you'll focus on, because she you'll probably be jealous or in your feelings and insecure about, you know, her going to have a work party with guys and shit. But all the while, that's just the smoke screen. She over here cheating. You see what I'm saying? So she told you, oh, you know, I want to make him feel the Christmas spirit and he's poor and all this. Yeah, ho, ho, ho. That's what your girl is. Well, not your girl. I girl. The, the, the why in your girl is is the why in your girl is silent. You know what I'm saying? Um, now moving on. Your friend is a fucking fool. Your friend is a damn fool. You're the guy who convinced you to go to her house and check on her. Your guys, your your friend is a damn fool, and you're a bigger fool for following him. You understand what I'm saying? Never ever show up to a woman's house unannounced. There's nothing more creepier, there's nothing more unattractive than you showing up to a woman's house unannounced. That's the, it's creepy and it's stalkerish, right? And it's very dangerous. I did a video about this guy named Dante from Delaware. He was on, he had went viral for crying. As the girl was, I guess the girl faced him and she FaceTimed him or something and she was out on a date with another guy. They had broke up. And I guess she wanted to get back at him. So he was crying and snot was coming all on it. He was he was a viral mean. All of the dating coaches made fun of him. You know, he went viral. He was even on a, one of those shows. I want to say Dr. Phil or one of those behind that. Well, not too long after that, on Valentine's Day, the girl wasn't answering the phone. The ex-girl wasn't answering the phone. He popped up over there and got smoked by the new dude. She was over there with a new dude. So he bust in the house, he getting his feelings, getting his emotions. So the new dude smoked him. He killed him in fear of his life. And he got off of it. He, he initially went to jail or whatever, but he beat the case for self-defense. It's 
very dangerous. And I know plenty of guys who died in situations like that. So stop popping up at women, a women's house. It's, it's, it's creepy. It's stalkerish. It's the ultimate turnoff, right? And it also shows... It also shows that you have a lack of self-control over yourself and your emotions or your emotions, which is a huge turnoff. When you can't control yourself and you can't control your emotions, that's a turnoff. Don't ever show up at a woman's house. Now, she told you, you know, I'm, I, I, she, I, she told her husband that I'm better than him, right? She didn't tell him that. She didn't tell her husband that. She ain't no woman crazy enough. I mean, maybe if they arguing, yeah, but she didn't tell him that. She only told you that to stroke your ego. Again, your need as a man, your desire to want to be the best, to want to be first, to want to be king dingling, to want to be the guy in her life. Women know that and they play on that and it strokes your ego and you fucking fail for it. Stop listening to what they say. That's why she told you that. Um, yeah, man, stop falling for the shit that they say and, you know, pay attention to what they do. You, you treat a woman based on the things that she do, not what she say. Now, you were a rebound. Classic. Classic rebound. Guys, listen. Never take a woman serious who just got out of a relationship, especially marriage. Don't fucking do it because you're not 10 times out of 10. She's just using you to get over it, right? This is actually the most common problem I get. This was your problem. You tried to wife a chick who's hurt, vulnerable, and wants to get over her last situation. She ain't even healed from that, and you trying to take on this shit, right? You getting used as a rebound, my friend, right? Period. All you, all when, all, all, when you a rebound, you just basically, basically, being used as a tool so they can heal. But when they get done healing, they're going to either go back to him or go back to what they used to, right? And let me put you guys on game. When when you t dealing with a woman, right? And she tell you about the last guy, if this guy, if this guy seems like the alpha male, he seems like the asshole, he seems like that guy, then you are more likely the sucker and you were the sucker in this situation right this is based on your behavior you was a sucker right women date the opposite of what they leave so if a woman leaves you and you a simp she the simp and ran her away so she gonna go into the arms of a player she gonna go into the arms of you know what she feel like she was missing that alpha man masculine player energy right if you are a guy, let's say like me, when a, when a woman, nine times out of 10, and when a woman leave a guy like me, they date down and they date guys less, like guys that's more safe for their emotions, simps and shit like this. So what this chick did was she dated down to a guy who was more safe and suckerish. But usually that's short lived because the guys who are more safe are usually more simpy and suckerish and do shit like this. And so... They get a reality check and say, oh, shit, what the fuck am I doing? Let me go back and play with the big dogs, what I'm used to. So always remember that. Listen to the ex. And if the ex is the, the, the player, right, if the ex was that dude, you got to learn how to sift through the lies. Learn to sift through the lies, lies and shit like that. But if the guy seems like a simp or overbearing and shit like that, she more than likely view, view you as a guy who's, you know, masculine and playerish. But if the guy was you know, playeristic about his shit, she, she's going to be, when she's rebounding, she's going to be looking for a safer option because she don't want anything that reminds her of that what she just left. You understand? So always pay attention to that. Stop trying to force women into a commitment and coming on too strong, right? Women who have recently left relationships typically want to have fun and hold around for a little bit. They don't want to go they don't want to go from relationship to relationships, right? They, they want to be free for a little bit. Let them be free. When you meet a woman and she tell you, I just got out of a relationship, stop trying to box her into another relationship. That's the fastest way that's going to turn them off. Simpy behavior like you was doing, turn women like that off fast. That's the fastest way to turn them off. So if you hear that, be cool, be a player about your shit and enjoy the moment. The, event, the, late, the, the relationship shit will come later if you want that from her. And you also need to see again if she gonna go back to the dude anyway. So stop over investing yourself, right? But, you know, 
They just want to typically hang out, have fun, and be free for a while, right? And that's the same goes for single women who are in a whole phase or they or they cheating. Like if, you know, in my programs on saveabroadacademy.com, I teach guys how to spot women who are in whole phases and shit, right? Teach you guys how to spot stuff like that. If you see a single woman, woman and she's in a whole phase or she cheating on her man or some shit like that, don't try to box her into a commitment or, you know, coming on too strong because it's going to it's gonna scare them away. Simpy behavior like that scares them away. Trying to box them into a relationship, it's going to scare them away. It's like trying to put lipstick on a pig. It's going to resent you for it. The pig just want to be a fucking pig. You understand what I'm saying? Let women come to you when they're ready for relationships. It's the relationship building. It's a process. Let the process happen naturally. Stop trying to force it, especially on women who just got out of a relationship or they single or single and they in the whole phase or they cheating. Let them come to you. That's how you know that it's real. When they beating, when they beating your door down for a commitment, when they begging you for a commitment, you know that they want it. They want something. You know what I'm saying? Somewhere deep down in them, they want it. So always remember that.